Hi everybody and welcome to Pro Tips. My name is David Pauly and I'm a Major League right-handed pitcher and uh, today we're going to work on the basic mechanics of, a, of pitching. We're going to start out today with going from the stretch and where you set yourself up on the mound is merely a preference of you know where you feel most comfortable. Guys who throw moving fastballs tend to stay on the first base side of the plate. Guys with a little bit straighter fastballs tend to go on the, on the third base side of the plate. Either way you go, you want to set yourself up with a good solid base. You don't want to be too wide. You don't want to be too close together. Okay? You just want to have a nice solid base. Okay? Have your, you put your hands wherever you like, whichever, you know, wherever you feel most comfortable. I like to look in my gloves so I know where I'm gripping the ball and I know that I have the right grip before I go. So next step is just to take a short step to the side. Some guys take a step straight back. Some guys, you know, take a long step. Preferably, I like to do, especially with young kids and uh, kids who are starting to learn how to throw, uh, be a pitcher, is you want to eliminate as much movement as possible. So you want to just take a short step back, okay? You want to bring that front leg up so that it's almost parallel with the ground, 90 degrees, so that you get a good solid base. And then you want to lead with that front hip towards the plate so that your body and your hips and your shoulders all stay in one line towards home plate. So go through it one time with you. I'm going to come set, nice sturdy base, short step back, bring your leg up 90 degrees, drive through the plate. A couple other things, where you set yourself up on the mound is really a preference. A lot of guys who throw a little bit harder, have a straighter fastball, like to throw from the right hand side of the plate. It gives them more of a direction towards the outside corner. A guy with a more moving fastball, two seam sinker fastball, sometimes prefer to throw from the first base side of the rubber, which gives them more direction towards the inside of the plate and gives you a little bit more plate to work with. My, me, myself, being a sinker ball guy, I throw from the first base side. So again, you're just going to take a short step back, bring your knee up so that you get a good base, lead and throw. Okay, next we're gonna work on going through the stretch. This is what you're primarily gonna use with runners on base. As you get to the higher levels and do, uh, you know, high school and even a little bit before, you'll be using this when, you know, to keep the, the runners close at first base, second base, or wherever they might be. So preference again, for me, I'm being a, a moving fastball guy. I like to stay on the first base side of the rubber. It gives me a little bit shorter distance to first base. And where you set up, whether you have the ball in your glove or in your hand, I take it in my hand. Um, you know, you want to set yourself so that you're even with home plate and that you can see first base or second base with ease and you're not having to turn or do too much. And then you want to get a good shoulder width base so that you're steady and you're, you know, you're strong in your stance. When you come set, you're going to bring your hands together. You can either bring them here, close to your body, up here. A lot of guys come back here. And no matter what it is, it's, it's what you're comfortable with and how you feel the best. Me, personally, I bring my hands down here. It makes me feel relaxed. And instead of being all tense up here and, you know, gripping the baseball too tight, I like to stay down here so I'm nice and loose. And I know where, you know, everything's at. I do a little short lift here. Okay, same thing going from the windup. You want to get to that balance point where you can drive the ball forward. Okay, same thing. You're going to lead with that front hip, okay, towards the plate. Okay. Shorter stance, throw. Same thing. You want to get a good shoulder width base. Okay. If you need to check your runners, you can look here. You can turn as much as you need to now before you come set. And when you come set, bring your hands together. Like I said, either here, here, anywhere it feels comfortable for you. Make sure you get a good solid base so that you're sturdy. Short leg up drive through the plate. A few things that I've seen that guys have struggled with or have lost command because of certain things that they do here. A lot of guys who, you know, may throw a little bit harder that set up on this side of the plate tend to, when they, when they struggle, their arm gets late behind them. And you can see sometimes if you get too long here and you come across your body, your arm stays back a little bit too long and that's when it's late and you come out here and a lot of times that ball rides up and away from a left-handed hitter or up and in on a right-handed hitter. One thing you really want to concentrate on is making sure you're staying aligned with home plate and to your catcher and when you come set it's the same way you don't want to you know some guys come set here some guys come set open it's more of a preference but what you want to 
reiterate to yourself is that you want to keep that direct line towards home plate. So when you come set, make sure that your shoulders are still facing towards home plate. If you are over here, you still need to make sure that this part of your body is you know, aligned with home plate so that everything goes to that direction. When you turn too much here or here, you know, your body's going to follow that direction. So you're going to be late either way. So if you get to yourself to a good solid position where you're sturdy, you're aligned with home plate, that'll put you online to make sure that you throw the ball towards home plate and your arm and everything is in, in the right place at the right time. And that was basically your, uh, your general mechanics for a, for a starting pitcher, relief pitcher, or anybody who's uh, you know, attempting to make transition into a pitcher. Thanks for joining me today. I'm David Pauly and this is Pro Tips For You.